Hey everyone, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about how to manage automatic lead assignment in Odoo 16 CRM module. So automatic assignments of leads would help to manage the leads on basis of particular rules. You can set the domain uh, like based on the probability or IDs or cities. So let's consider an example. We have got two leads from two uh, cities or from two countries. So uh, if you are getting leads from different countries, it is not possible to manage all those leads by a single salesperson. So in such cases, language will be a matter for the salesperson. So we can easily manage that leads for particular salesperson who could handle the different language. So in such cases and all, we can use automatic assignment. So uh, let's see how can we manage automatic assignments of leads or opportunities in Odo 16. For that, you can just get into the CRM module and you need to ensure that you have enabled leads from the configuration settings. Then only you can get uh, the leads or you can add the additional step before the creation of an opportunity. And you also need to enable the rule-based assignment. So we can set the rule-based assignment either manually, which means we can run uh, the rule-based assignment manually, or we can also set the rule-based assignment repeatedly. So if you're choosing repeatedly, you need to set every interval that to repeat the assignments of the leads or opportunity. So here we can set on basis of days, hours, minutes, and weeks. And you can also set the next run of the automatic uh, assignment of lead. Now, after this, you can save the changes. So currently, I'm setting uh, the running as manually. Let me set it as manual. And you can save all the changes. So once you made a change, just go to the configuration settings. Here you would be able to see we have a sales team and under the sales team we have to set uh, different uh, rules. So currently I'm using the sales team as uh, uh, sales and you can uh, set or enable pipeline as well as leads so that you could view the leads that are generating on the pipeline as well as under leads. And uh, you can also uh, give certain details like team details like team leader email alias as well as uh, accept emails from everyone or from a specified one like authenticate partners or followers or authenticated employees so currently i'm setting it as accept emails from everyone now if you want to configure the email alias you can configure that and here you can also set uh, this sales team for a particular company so i'm keeping this field as null so i could use this uh, sales team for any of the company and uh, you can also set a target amount uh, per uh, month. And let me set a domain here. So on this, I mean, on the basis of this domain, the leads will be uh, assigned for the sales team. Now let me click on uh, the domain and yeah, let's uh, choose uh, the following rule. So here you can uh, choose the following rules from this list. So currently I'm giving the record rule as email and yeah the email that are equal to this email the email that i'm providing in the window okay rose at gmail.com so here i have given email that is equal to rose at gmail.com so here you can see we have seven records for that so all those uh records will be generating as the leads so you can see we have only given one salesperson for uh, this sales team. If you want to give multiple sales uh, person for this team, you can set that. And after that, let me create a new lead. Here we can create a new lead such as. After that, I'm keeping uh, the customer as null. Now you can also set the contact name over here. And you can also give the email of this contact. And you need to remove the salesperson and sales team from here. So keep this field as empty. And let's save. And if you want to give any internal, uh, internal note regarding this lead, you can provide that. And you can also set other extra information under the extra information tab, like company, uh, such as the marketing uh, company and campaign and the medium that you are using for the 
marketing and if you want to convert this to the opportunity you can just click on this uh, button so this would uh, convert to opportunity and you can uh, choose a conversion action such as creating to opportunity or merging with the existing opportunities so here also i'm not assigning the sales person or sales team because we are currently doing automatic assignments of leads or opportunity for a particular team as well as for a sales person and if you want to create a new customer from this you can choose create a new customer or you can either link this to an existing customer if you don't want to create a customer you can uh, choose that option also now i'll click on create opportunity so that we have created a opportunity over here now when you back to the sales tab under that you can choose my pipelines and when you remove the filtration you would be able to see the opportunity that we have created under the pipeline so here you can see uh, the pipeline that we have created that is the opportunity now let's go to the configuration settings and you need to uh, just click on this button in order to update uh, now so you can see one lead is allocated to the sales team and one leads assigned among that sales person now here as you said that you can see uh, the record is uh, enhanced into eight before that we had only seven records now you can also assign this lead manually by clicking assign lead so this will be assigned manually to the machine let me now when you go to uh, the sales and choose my pipelines under that you would be able to see the opportunity that we have created and you can just choose your opportunity under this you would be able to see uh, the sales team i mean uh, the sales person is automatically assigned as mission admin as we have set a role in order to assign this lead uh, to mission admin so you can also go to configuration set settings and you can set role based assignments based on repeatedly so this would let uh, to assign the lead or opportunity for a particular sales team or for a particular sales person with a repetitive interval so here let me choose it as one and here you can also set uh, the minute over here so uh, now let me save the changes so after one minute uh, of the creation of the lead that lead will be automatically assigning to the uh, sales team now uh, let me go to the customer and yeah let's choose uh, uh, the contact and let me set the country for this customer so i will be making uh, a filtration or setting the domain for assigning this lead on based on country of the customer so you can save the changes and uh, let's go to the team and set the domain so here we can choose a sales team and yeah let's edit this domain and here you can choose the uh, records based on country so search for country so that you can assign uh, a rule based on country and here you can also set the value over here so i'm choosing it as india and save this so you can see currently we don't have any records over here like let me save this and after that let's go to the settings and you can just update this record by clicking on this button so as we don't have any records right now it's shown that uh, none of the uh, leads or opportunity is assigned to the sales team or sales person so once a lead is created after every one minute that will be automatically assigning to the team that we have set so this is how we manage with the leads or opportunities by setting rule based assignment hope this concept is clear for you thank you for watching the video